Hello, we're going to do a maths cast now on expanding double brackets. Uh, this is building on what you learn in the maths cast on expanding brackets, but we're just going to have another go at um, looking at only double brackets. So let's begin. The question will say expand and simplify, and then they'll give you two brackets. In this case, we have x plus 6, x minus 3. So what we do, there's many different ways to do this. Uh, the way I use is we, I use the smiley face method. So you need to draw on the eyebrows on the top, which cross over. And on the bottom, we have lines like that. So this is the smiley face, because it's supposed to look a little bit like a smiley face. Um, and we use it because all of these lines are what we need to work out. So we always begin with this top line here, the one I've put a V on. So the top line goes from the x to the x. So x times x is x squared. Once you've done the top one, you then start with the bottom two. So the first bottom one there goes from the plus 6 to the x. So plus 6 times x will give us plus 6x. Now we do the bottom one. This one goes from the x to the minus 3. So minus 3 times x will give us minus 3x. And then finally, back to the top one for our last one, 6 times minus 3. Well, 6 times 3 is 18. So 6 times minus 3 is minus 18. So we're halfway there now. We've expanded the brackets. So we've done this first bit. We just now need to simplify. Now, when it says simplify, it means we... Uh, sort out the middle two x's. So we've got plus 6x take away 3x. Well, plus 6 take away 3 will give us plus 3x. And we have an x squared at the start and a minus 18 at the end. So that is our final answer when we've expanded and simplified. Let's have a go now at a slightly harder example. So expand and simplify. 2x plus 1 x minus 5. So the reason it's a little bit harder is because I have a number in front of the x at the beginning. Same method. I'm using the smiley face method. So put your smiley face onto your brackets. Remember, the smiley face only works with double brackets. So work out each one separately. we just got to be a little bit careful now. So the first one is the first line. 2x times x. That will give us 2x squared. Then we go to the bottom two. This first one, plus 1 times x. Well, 1 times x is 1x, so it's plus 1x. You don't have to write the 1 there. You could have just wrote plus x. Now the bottom one, 2x times minus 5. Well, 2 times minus 5 would give us minus 10. So 2x times minus 5 will give us minus 10x. And finally, the second top one, 1 times minus 5. Well, 1 times 5 is 5. So 1 times minus 5 will be minus 5. So we've expanded the brackets. Now we just need to simplify them. So again, we're looking at the middle two parts to see what happens. Well, if I have plus 1x and I take away 10 of the x's, I'm left with minus 9x. So the middle bit becomes minus 9x. The first bit stays as 2x squared, and then we have another minus 5. So we've expanded, and we've simplified to get 2x squared, minus 9x, minus 5. So we've gone through a couple more examples there of how to expand double brackets. Remember, you can look at single brackets on the expanding brackets maths cast. Here's a couple of questions for you to have a go at. Good luck.